Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Chief Engineer's Log. In this first episode, I will explain how to change the temperature probes of an Ariston Valley's EVO ATEU electric boiler. In order to check and change the temperature probes, the water boiler doesn't need to be emptied and you will need a small flat screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and if possible, a measuring instrument. It is important to remember that it is necessary to take all the safety measures according to the user manual. You must make sure that the appliance is switched off and it is not connected to the main power supply. It is also advisable to check the supply terminal for the presence of voltage in the device after opening the bottom inspection cover. This is an Ariston EVO 80, Valis EVO 80 EU 1.5 kW electrical boiler used for domestic hot water preparation. A few days ago, I found the boiler in a failure mode where all the LED were flashing. To enter the diagnostic mode of this type of boiler, press and hold the on-off key for 5 seconds. The type of malfunction is indicated by the 5 rows of LEDs. In this case, the row of LEDs 3 in the area of the temperature indicator 60 degrees Celsius which indicates the defective temperature probes were lit up. With a small flat screwdriver, pull out the masking and protection cover for the, of the screw that holds the inspection cover. With a small flat, with a Phillips screwdriver, unscrew the fixing screw of the inspection cover, then Then, with a flat screwdriver, easily remove the cover by inserting the screwdriver into the slots next to the fixing screws. Slightly pull the cover to avoid damaging the holding clamps. Here you can see the elements of the boiler, the heating elements of the boiler, and between the supply terminals of the heating elements you can see the temperature probes on the left side the outlet probe and on the right side the inlet probe. To disconnect the probe's connection from the control panel, the control panel must be removed for easier access to the probe connection terminal. To do this, insert the Y screwdriver behind the control panel on the sides to easily remove the clamps on both sides. The control panel has three clamps, two on the sides and one on the at the top. After removing the clamps, push the panel slightly outwards, then pull it out slightly. Here, you can see the connection terminals of the probes on the right side with a 3-pin outlet probe and on the left side inlet probe with 4 pins. Here you can see the outlet probe and here you have the inlet probe. The connectors are removed by pulling towards the control panel frame, after which the probe is easily removed from, the, from its housing. Here, I will change the outlet probe and the same is done with the inlet probe as well.
the new probe it will be inserted into its dedicated slot you need to uh, push it very easy in order not to bend it After fixing the new probes, the control panel is mounted back, first inserting the upper part, after which it is lightly pressed around the panel until it is fixed in the clamps. The cables of the probes can be hang on to the existing hooks on the flanges of the heating elements in order to avoid the accidental damaging when mounting the access cover. Now we will need to mount the inspection cover by first inserting it into the four clips and pressing pressing it lightly until it is fixed in the clamps. Fix the cover with the fixing screw and mount the masking and protection caps of the fixing screws. Insert the power plug and start the boiler. After starting it, you need to enter the diagnostic mode again to see if the defect has been eliminated. The boiler is in good working order as no LED is lit after entering the diagnostic mode. I wish you good luck and thank you for watching. Don't forget to press like, share and subscribe if you like my tutorial. Goodbye.